This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so the ECC has turned to green. Let me minimize this. SAP. Ma'am, um, I've no. tried it for a very long time. The, it's not turning green at all, ma'am. Might be if your processor is slow, also it will happen, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Shall I just do one to take? Yeah. What more? What more? Sorry. Or like, you know, ma'am, can I take it for the whole day? Because I tried even today from morning I'm trying from 11.30, but uh, still I'm having this issue, ma'am. So Before it was thing. working well. Yeah. Okay. So in that case, you uh, do one thing. If you have any important files, important files means some <laughs> notes, like in a PDF copy, full notes, any subjects or videos, anything you if you have a pendrive, copy to that. After copying to that, then you try to uh, like after copying, remove from the system, delete this storages. Then you do for your uh, this thing ECC process. You try to run and check. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. I'll try and I'll let you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. And still, and still, if you're not able to do, then you please let me know. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so now we have done few steps till posting period we have done. Right? Till posting period we have done. If anybody has a doubt in that, you can let me know or else we will continue from where we have stopped. No doubts, ma'am. Okay, then in that case, we will start with the field status variant. Okay, so in field status variant, we will be using the field that means which are the required field, necessary field that has to be filled. Means we have to fill the required details in this uh, tabs. You will get an option to fill the number, to fill the date, to fill the amount. So in that few will be optional. We can skip that. And few is mandated. Okay. So few will be mandated. And then and other few will be like uh, it will be the grey color. So that we call it as suppress. Okay. That we call it as suppress. <coughs> so based on this we will be assigning the field status variant. So in field status variant, we have a certain predefined field status variant. So that only we will be creating now. So for the field status variant, to define the field status variant, the T code here is slash N O B C 4 O B B for Bangalore, C for Chennai, then 4. Okay. O, B, C, 4. Type this. After this, press enter. Okay, you must get the screen. Are everyone getting this? You have to reply me. If you are not replying, then I have to continue from where I stopped it. I will start from yes, directly making an entry. Okay, now in this, there is a predefined field status variant 0001. Click on this. Select this. After selecting this, you have to go for this copy as. Can you see here? There is an option as copy as. Click on this copy as. So 
So you must get like this. If you are getting like this, then the next step what we will do is, we will go for this to rename. So by default, we are using which one? Triple zero one. So triple zero one, I will remove this. I will rename to my company MC20 and I will also rename here field status for MC20. You can rename like this. MC20 I am giving. You give your company code. Done? Did you all do this? Yes, ma'am. Now, we have to save this. Go for save. So, when you are just pressing save, control yes, it won't work. So, it only says here one entry chosen. Press enter button. Press enter button. So, what you are getting? You must get the screen. So, you, after you getting the screen, you have to click on this copy all. Click on this copy all. Okay. So, if when you get this copy all, the number of entries copied, again press enter to accept the screen also. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, next step what we have to do here, after number of entries copied, you will get this whatever you have renamed, save this, control mm -hmm. yes. So, when you save it, you must get the screen. Are you even getting this save screen? Your customization request. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Now again press enter. So we have created the field status variant. Okay, now what we have to do? We have to assign this. Assign this to which one? We will be assigning this to our company code. So the transactional code is slash n o b c pipe. O, B, C, 5. Give this key code. After giving this, press enter. Okay, now when you get the screen, are you getting this assigned company code to field status variant? Are everyone getting this? Response me. Are everyone getting this? If you're getting this, go for this position. Give your company code. Mine says MC20. Enter. And I have created my field status variant also as MC20. Then I am saving this. Once you save this, you will get a customization request. Enter. So you must get this data was saved. Do till here and let me know. You have to respond to me. Only then I will go for the next step. Done ma'am. Good. So after doing this, after doing this, the next step is we have to allocate this. So field status variant is done. Next we will go for tolerance. Tolerance means that we can, uh, to what extent we can manage our business when we are not receiving the uh, money from our customers. For that we will be creating this tolerance group. So for this tolerance group the T code is 
O B A four. Okay. So give your slash N O B A four. A four. Okay. O B A four. Did you all give this? Then when you enter, so you will you have to get a screen for tolerance group defining. Must be still loading. Let's wait for that. Okay. See, you will get like this. Now, when you get like this, we can't use the tolerance group which is predefined because we may have some other currency. So since we may have some other currency, what we are going to do here is we will go with the new entries. Go to the new entries. New entries. So it says here group tolerance group. So I'll use the same thing. MC two zero. Okay. My group company code is also I'm giving here MC two zero. Both I'm giving the same thing. Okay, so after this, next step is you have amount per document. Amount per document, how much you are going to tolerate here? Okay, so amount per document, I'm giving here eleven times nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And amount per line item, so per document means per bill. Okay, per line item means debit and credit. So here I'm giving nine times nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is what I'm giving. I'm not giving any other changes. You can just check with this. Do this update and let me know. After updating, we can save this. Have you all done this? Okay. Once after finishing this step, you will please let me know. Ma'am, should we save after this? Yes, we have to save this. Make control yes. You will get a customized request. Are you getting a customized request? Yes, ma'am. Okay. When you get a customized request, just press enter. So see, I'm also getting a customized request. So you are data was saved. Are you everyone getting this? Okay. After doing this tolerance group, the next step is we have to go for GL creation. Okay, GL creation. So you are going to create the ledgers. I'm not going to create it. So before you create it, first you go for this option charts of accounts group. Okay, so take down the T code slash N slash <coughs> slash N. And then what I have to do? The T code for accounts group O D. Okay, so O for Orissa, B for Bangalore, D for Delhi. Then four O B D four. Press enter. You will get like this. I am even getting the screen.
response girls you have to response me yes ma'am good now go for position go for position search for your charts of accounts mine is mc20 mc20 i'm searching this so i get this option mc20 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 that is expenses income assets and liabilities you just check this <coughs> getting ma'am okay good now write down this write down this for assets what is the range from and to for expenses what is the range from and to for income for liabilities everyone make a note write it in your book Done. Girls, if it is done, let me know. done ma'am so now i'm not selecting this i'll remove the selected one i'm just removing the selected one nothing i'm going to do now give here a slash slash n f s 00 slash n f s 00 then so when you do this fs00 you will be getting a account for gl creation i'll show you only one rest of the things you will be creating i'll tell you in order whatever you have to create okay so now look here whether you are getting your same company code mc so my company code the previous one mc1 mcc1 it is showing me but what i'm doing right now is mc20 So you check what you are getting. Are you getting same yours itself or different one? You have to reply me same one or different one. Only then I can respond to you what you have to do. Different. Different. Very good. So now, so you have already made a note of your liabilities range. Liabilities range, right? So I am using here four lakhs. So here, see after this find option, you have an option here as create. Click on this create. When you click on this create, it will ask you for accounts group. I am giving here forty thousand two. So because first number I have already used for retained earnings, so forty thousand two. My company code is MC two zero. Then I press enter. When I press enter, you can see here in GL account it is changing here.
Reply me. Is it changing there? So if it is changing, then now I'm going to create a balance sheet because it is a liabilities balance sheet. So here, select your group liabilities. I'm creating here as Mr. Yes Capital. Mr. Yes Capital. So, Mr. Yes Capital and even in the GL account long test, even here also I am creating the same thing. Mr. Yes Share Capital. Just do this and let me know. You should not save this. This is the first screen you are doing it. We have another three screens, I mean another two screens to do it. Once you are done with this screen, you let me know. I will go for the next screen. Don't save it. So see that is what I said Kritika, your number range is for liabilities you have given 30, 000, 31, 000, 30, 000, 1 to 40,000 but you are creating for 40,000 it is wrong. So again click on the cre uh, create button, give it as 30,000 Your range is wrong ma, see you have different liabilities which range 30,000 to 40,000. This is what I said you when you are checking in a charge of account to make a note. I gave a different range and you are giving a different range. So that is what is making a difference here. Change it, change it to 30,002. Again click on the create button. When you go for the create button, it will show you again. So the, give the T code, I mean give the number range as 30,002. Then create it as this. So you won't be getting this error. None, Kritika? You have to reply me if you are done. Girls, response me. Is it done or not? At least can you hear me? Even if I change, I'm not getting it. One second, let me see. I've come to live meeting to find 30,001. Dear, you are defining 30,001, but GL account you have given instead of 30,002. You have mentioned 3 lakh 2. Check this number, number of zeros, GL account. You have given 4 times 0. You have to use only 3 zeros, right? Create again. 
which is 3 lakh 2 you have given instead of 30,002. Make fast. Let me do one secure them. Done, ma'am. So we will create the next one, okay? So now go for the next tab. What you have here is Control data. Can you see this? Control data. Click on this control data. Your account group currency by default it will be INR. Okay. So you have to give a tick mark to this line item display. Sort key 001. Why it is 001? Because we are going to maintain the transaction date wise. Date wise. In order to maintain date wise, voucher wise, anything. So we will be using this. So posting date wise. Date wise. I need a report for that. I'm using this 001. Okay. So give a tick mark for this line item display. Sort key 001. If it is done, then we have to go for the next step. Can you repeat for the next After doing this, after doing this GL account, you have an option here as control data. Second it button. See, type on description, you have a control data. Can you see here? Yes, ma'am. In this, you have to give a tick mark for this line item display. Line item display. Can you see this? Line item display, sort key 001, you have to type here. Yes, ma'am. Next one, go for this create bank and interest. Third tab. Everyone, go for this create bank and interest. In this field status variant, we are going to give the predefined one G001. G001. This is used for normal GL account entries. If you are done with this G001, just save it. Control yes. When you press Control yes, you must get a option here saying that GL is created. So this screen you will get only when you are creating assets and liabilities. Let me click on this R. Just press Enter button. When you press Enter button, it will show you that it has been saved. Mr. A's capital account has been saved. Data saved. Right? If you get this now, now concentrate here. See, since it is showing me MCC1, I have to change this. I'll click on this change company code. Change company code. Can you see this icon? There is two small tiny box and with the arrow key. So this is change company code. Click on this. Now which company's data I have to see? Mine says now MC20. I'll click on this MC20. You won't be getting directly before creating one single ledger also. First, we have to create one ledger. Only then it will show you. Without creating ledgers, it won't change to other options. Clear? Now, same way, create the other one. Mr. B's capital. Again, I create here. Now, mine, I have created 4002. I have to create here as 40,003. 
So make sure you are giving your respective group name. So I'm giving here 40,003 MC20. Enter. So type and description, balance sheet, and this is my liabilities. I have to give here as Mr. B's capital account, another capital account. And in long text, again, I'm giving here as Mr. B's shared capital account. Control data algo, line item display, swap key 001. Then create here interest, so it is G001. Field status variant. This is what I have given. So everyone has to do the same process. Do it. Create this ledger and let me know if you have done. Done, ma'am. Okay. Say this. So, here after you will be doing on your own. Okay. Under liabilities, under liabilities, uh, you create. Okay. Not under liabilities. We will go for the next one. So, see what is your number range for your assets. Number range for your assets. Create it as cash in hand. First number, cash in hand. For assets you are creating, okay? You are creating for assets. Is it done? Cash in hand? You have to create it under assets. Same step. So you have to use the same step for everything. There won't be any other changes. Done ma'am. Next one. Create the other one under assets itself. So one you have created, create the second one. So second one is HDFC Bank.
HDFC bank seen under assets. Done, ma'am. Good. Now, create it for your income. Income. You know the check for your income range? Create the first one as interest receipt. Interest receipt from bank. So you have to just type it here in a short text as interest receipt. Interest receipt from bank and same step, there won't be any other changes. Done, man. Okay. Next one, create an income itself as commission receipt. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. So now, what you are going to do is, you will create an interest, saying that office rent. You have created as office rent. Under which ma'am? Expenses, office rent and the expenses.
Is it done? Yes, ma'am. Next one, create under expanses itself, printing and stationery. Girls, have you all done this? Printing and stationery? Yes, ma'am. Good. So, next one. Um, under capital, under capital, create a ledger. I mean, under liabilities. Under liabilities, create a ledger as reserves and surplus. Same step, no changes, same step. Ma'am, description? Uh, description, same thing. Reserves and surplus only you do. Which one you are asking about? Liabilities. Ha, liabilities. You are going to create a short text as reserves and surplus. Long text also is reserves and surplus. That is the ledger name. Okay, name of the ledger. Next one, if it is done, let me know. I'll tell you next one. Done, ma'am. Okay. Under assets, under assets, create computer. Under assets, create computer. Yes, ma'am. Very good. So, one more you create under assets itself as printer.
Done? Okay. Next one under income create sales. Under income sales. create sales done ma okay one is under x purchase under asset under expenses Ma'am, what description? We description means you are asking to create. This is purchase only, ma'am. Purchase account only. Purchase, purchase account. You have to minimize the screen. Who's this? Someone sent me some message. So, nothing more. It is the same thing. See? It is on the ECC is showing in yellow color. We have to wait for the green color. Not this process and all. Only this console route. SAP system ECC it still shows in yellow color. We have to wait until this turns into green color. Okay. Who sent me an email? I am saying for it. Then everyone. Yes, ma'am. Anybody has a doubt? So whatever we have done in last class and today's class. If anybody has a doubt, you can get um, your voice is breaking. Okay, I asked you, do you have any in yesterday's class and today's class? No, ma'am. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. 
No mana. Wait ma, let me check then. Kritika, sing to me. It shows you have a poor, uh, poor network connection. Okay, I have it. Fine then. Okay, can you hear me at least now? Just uh, uh, one have to see you. Do you have any doubts? Ma'am, it's breaking. I can't hear anything. What about others? Only I am there in the meeting, yeah. ma'am. Okay, I'm asked. Okay. Once again, ma'am. I don't have any other options also now. At least one line. Any doubts? No, ma'am. Kritika? No doubts, ma'am. Kritika? Any doubts? Yes, Okay, I am stopping here. We will continue in next class. Okay. okay good. That's all for today's class. We'll see you next class.